launched way back around 2014, the Thermalright Silver Arrow IE B Extreme is one of the best air CPU coolers still around on the market, with true untested performance and design. While this cooler was launched years ago, it has been updated consistently to support all the latest CPU sockets apart from the AMD Threadripper for obvious reasons. The heatsink itself has many of the unique design features of the cooler. It has a weight of 750 grams and it is composed out of 44 aluminum fins and 8 nickel plated copper heat pipes. The shape of the fins and the top plate is done to not only direct the airflow through the heatsink but also to reduce the loss of the airflow. The base, like the heat pipes, is made from nickel plated copper. The surface is evenly polished to a mirror like reflection. The contact between the heat pipes and the base of the cooler is achieved by soldering the base, heat pipes, and a top plate together. This method is widely used and provides a good thermal transfer. The two fans included with the cooler are called TY143 and have an asymmetrical format. Their dimensions are 152 mm in width, 140 mm in height and a thickness of 26.5 mm. The power delivery is achieved through a standard 4-pin Molex connector. In terms of sheer performance numbers, the fans have a minimum speed of 600 rpm and a maximum speed of 2500 rpm. In addition, the advertised life expectancy of these fans is around 50,000 hours. Before we move on with the actual performance of this cooler, we need to discuss some issues that are present with most high-end air coolers. However, the Silver Arrow doubles down on them. First of all, the sheer size of this heatsink and when both fans are installed, the cooler will completely cover all four RAM slots on the motherboard. In addition to this, the way the fan fins are shaped and how the fan clips are mounted makes moving the fans higher without bending the fins extremely difficult. In terms of performance, as always, the cooler was tested using an Intel i5-6600K, overclocked at 4.5 GHz with a core voltage of 1.296 inside an original Fantex Entolux case. The ambient temperature of all testing is done at 26 degrees Celsius to better emulate one of the worst case scenarios for a gaming computer, a hot summer day. The Silver Arrow is right at the same level as Noctua's NHD15 or the Arctic Liquid Freezer 240. The only CPU coolers ahead of the Silver Arrow and indeed ahead of the NHD15 are highly engineered, expensive water cooling systems such as the AlphaCool Ace Bear 280 or the Fractalizan Kelvin. The cooling performance then is very good, especially when taken into consideration that the Silver Arrow is an air CPU cooler that has been around for years and that is still well above other generic liquid cooling CPU coolers. Thanks to the two included fans, the Silver Arrow Extreme is not a silent CPU cooler, due to it being equipped with large fans spinning at a maximum of 2500 RPM, the sound peaks at around 40 decibels. I do have to make a note on this, that the value was reached with a measuring probe placed at a distance of 10 cm away from the CPU cooler. However, with such a high rotational speed and having two fans installed, having a low noise output is harder to achieve. All this being said, while this is a big CPU cooler, the Silver Arrow IEB Extreme offers a surprising amount of space for the PCIe slots and for the VRM heatsink of the motherboard. This is thanks to the slight offset of the heatsink and heat pipes. In essence, while the cooler will cover the RAM slots of the motherboard, the lower area of the CPU socket is easily accessible. After taking everything into consideration, is the Silver Arrow EEB Extreme worth buying? After all these years, I am happy to say that it is still relevant for the current CPUs and a worthy competition for newer cooling systems that still prioritize the RGB elements in the detriment of actual cooling performance and reliability. Apart from the good cooling performance, another feature of this cooler is the build quality, starting with the heatsink and then moving on with the two fans and the mounting system. The biggest issue is, as always with this type of coolers, the size. Without a proper ATX motherboard and case, the Silver Arrow will simply not fit, and of course the new tall RGB heatsinks will also be unusable. The Thermarite Silver Arrow IEB Extreme is then a great CPU cooler that has a unique design and shows, just like other companies, that air cooling is still a viable and stylish solution for modern CPUs. With, of course, the biggest advantage of air cooling, no leaking on the graphics cards or any type of pump failure or whine. In addition, at the beginning of the video I made the statement that for obvious reasons the Silver Arrow is not compatible with AMD's Threadripper platform. This is the case because for those CPUs the base of the cooler needs to be enlarged to fully cover the CPU die. Otherwise, all the cooling potential is wasted. 